Hi everyone, it's Yogi here. Now let's talk about your food because a lot of you write to me or talk to me about the fact that your diet's not bad, you're eating organic, you're not eating a lot of food, but you still don't have enough energy. Now there's one last chapter in the saga of food and that is the food itself gives you some nourishment but it doesn't give you a lot of energy because it's the efficiency of the body that takes that food and that nourishment and turns it into energy. So that's the first thing you got to think about is, is my body uh, metabolizing food in the most efficient way to turn nourishment into energy? And you've got to think about that because you can eat all the, all, the, uh, all the organic food you want. You can eat absolutely the best food and you still don't have enough energy. It's because your body is not metabolizing that food properly. So that's one thing to think about. The other thing is that food itself isn't a huge source of uh, nutrition or energy, let's call it, because you can get much higher sources of nutrition from the sun, for example, or from the air, if it's clean, of course, uh, from amazing conversations, which give you that wonderful feeling. So great thoughts, positivity, all of these are actually much higher forms of energy and nourishment for the body than food. Food itself has a very limited part in this life, but what's happened is we've taken it and we've made it the main source of our energy. And this is why most people you speak to, or yourself as well, don't have the energy to get you through your day. And the other thing is that food is being misused, so of course it takes a lot more energy from the body. That means the digestive system is having to process so many different types of foods, uh, and yes, even if they're organic, uh, you're losing energy because your digestion is spending all and sending all that energy to the stomach for digestion rather than using it outwardly in the things you want to do. So start to think about this. How am I living my life? How am I eating? Am I tapping into other sources of energy like the sun, the moon, the air, my breathing? Uh, conversations which are uplifting, my thought process, you know, just take your thought process for a moment. How many times in the day do you just get tired and you've been thinking too much? That takes away energy. So this body is an energy producing machine, but depending on what it's up against, uh, you'll either have a lot of energy or less energy. Because if you're tapping into this energy and you're losing it because you're thinking too much, you're doing too many activities, or you're just tired because you're not doing something purposeful, then you're not going to have enough nutrition and energy in this body. So start to think, how am I living? What am I doing? How am I uh, overspending my energy? Same you do with your money. You know, you start to manage and balance the books in the same way we balance our energy and we see where am I putting my energy and where can I stop putting my energy? That means I will conserve it and then have it to use when I need it. And especially at these times where we're going through, uh, we tend to get very tired very quickly because we give away our energy very quickly. But don't uh, look at food as just nourishment. Start to look at all the other things around you, the elements, uh, like I mentioned, the sun and the moon and the air and the earth, you know? How many times have you just sat on the earth in a forest or on, the, uh, on a piece of grass and you've closed your eyes and whew, you've just felt amazing? It gives you back energy. So start to think about other sources of energy uh, that you can tap into and not just using food as energy because that's one of the lowest forms of energy that we can get. So start thinking about it. You'll be amazed how much energy you can get from your surroundings. Namaste.